So I want to show you guys tonight all about dialysis and what I do every night before I go to bed. I have to set up my machine and I do peritoneal dialysis through my stomach. The first step, follow me through the... Okay, so first you have to wash your hands. So now that my hands are clean, I already grabbed my supplies. Now I have to put on a mask. And so I'm gonna take off my glasses. I always have that habit of putting them on and taking them off because they slide down while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna hand sanitize. Now it says insert cassette. So this is the cassette. And I'm just gonna insert it into the machine. So this has to go perfectly in there. So now it says to connect the solution bag. So these are my solutions. Right here I have my yellow solution, my green solution, and then another yellow. So first I have this yellow one. This takes off less fluid. And this green one takes off more. So I'm going to connect these. The red one it's for the one touching the heater tray. This is really quick. I do this really quick because you do not want to get it contaminated. Everything has to remain sterile. And I just hang it on the side. So with this little one, I'm going to do the same thing. Grab this one. So I have three bags connected. And these bags throughout the night are going to rotate inside my stomach. They're gonna be filter they're gonna be rotating in and out, filtering my blood. Not my blood, but my everything that needs to come out. So I connected that line to the drain because it has to come out so it's gonna drain into that bucket and I'm just gonna press next. Now it takes three minutes for it to load up the machine. So now we have to break clamps and clamp the unused lines that we're not gonna be using. Okay. So these, not break, break clamps, break cone. So these are the little cones that we have to break. They just snap. They're down here. And since we're not using these two lines, we're just going to clamp them. Now we're just going to press the next. And it's going to be another minute of waiting. And that's just making sure that the three bags are connected for my full treatment. Now it has detected the three bags, so we're just going to press next. It's flushing. And we're just gonna wait again. There's a ton of waiting in this. Okay, now it says ensure blue line clamp is open. So this right here is the blue line. We have to make sure this is open. This is what I'm going to hook myself onto. So what I like to do, I like to put it right here. It holds it in place and this is open so we're gonna press next. And we have to wait another minute. This is called peritoneal dialysis and this is the tube. And the tube sits all the way right here. And I can feel it tug on my skin at nighttime and it hurts. <laughs> okay, never really. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
I'm gonna tape this to my belly while we wait because I don't want to just have it out here like this. Some cool things that I I am allowed to do with this tube is go swimming in the ocean, which I'm glad about. But I cannot swim in pools and or in rivers or anything, just the ocean. Well, technically I can swim in pool, but it's really risky. So now step six. It says close your patient line clamp and press back to prime again. Priming is when the water comes all through here to fill it, fill it up to make sure there's no air bubbles. So it has already done that step. All the water has climbed to the top. So now we're just gonna press next. It says daytime ex um, exchange. I don't do that, so next. No exchange, next. And now it says to basically connect myself on the machine, but it's aseptic, meaning sterile. So this is the part that I hook up to the machine. So, so I'm just gonna grab my tube, my tubes. And I'm going to grab gauze, not that piece, but this piece is awesome. it's completely clean and sterile I'm just gonna attach it right here okay and I, I like to hold this and I just open this quickly this all very quickly and open this one up right here then I press next then I bypass the drain because I don't carry fluid. So I bypass the drain. And now it says fill. So it's filling my stomach. It's going to begin to fill my stomach with fluid. I like to put a lot of tape because at nighttime when I sleep and I start to move, it gets a little messy and it starts to pull. So. so now my stomach is gonna begin to get bigger it's just gonna keep filling it fills 2,000 milliliters in here so it's about five pounds and it's just gonna sit in my peritoneum cavity and it's gonna sit for a couple of hours I could take this off by the way it's gonna sit for a couple of hours while it fi filters my my um, toxins that are in my body so that right there was just my night routine that I do every night to start my treatment. So tomorrow I'm going to take you guys to dialysis so you guys can see what I go through with my nurses and what we, what's our like monthly type of plan that we set up for our visits. So good night. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, unfortunately I was unable to record at my dialysis appointment due to the HIPAA laws. I was not allowed to have the physicians in the video or have the camera even recording myself. So I want to give you guys a little run through of what my appointment was about. Basically I took my adequacy today. Adequacy is when they check how much kidney function you have and how much dialysis you're getting. To do so, they had to I had to collect my 24 hour urine test and I had to bring in my peritoneal fluid and I did lab works but that I did in the clinic so I did my they drew my labs and um, they were checking the K2 over V meaning how much dialysis and you usually want to be above 1.7 or higher I usually range between 2.4 to 2.7 meaning my body is getting the proper dialysis it needs so they also did my monthly labs which consist of potassium, phosphorus, protein, creatinine, BUN, they were checking all that stuff. 
and mine usually comes out in range which is always good my creatinine however is always between 10 to 12 which is of course horrible but that's why I'm on dialysis normal is 0 or 0 0.1 or 0 0.7 or something like that but you know anything above 0 is not a good thing so it was just a very simple appointment very quick it was about an hour long and I talked to my nurses, they just basically checked to see how my health is doing, how I'm feeling, and um, if dialysis is going properly. So, yes, everything has been going good with dialysis, just the same normal stuff. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about dialysis. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I am, I want to answer whatever questions you guys might have. So. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for subscribing and don't forget don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it and stay tuned because I have some exciting news for you guys. You guys don't want to miss that. So thank you guys. Bye.